everyone uh, welcome to this video I'm going to show you for the first time um, how to work with Lil box and I'm going to turn it on for the first time and here is the menu so the home um, the home layout which is kind of good uh, and you can see it here you have apps you have google play so if you have um, an android if you have uh, an android google play account um, you can use it here um, let me just check on the settings and you have here the device with the nectar uh, the network display sounds the preferences with date and time languages and my son is enjoying it as well remotes and personal so first of all I'm going to the network and you can connect the little box with Wi-Fi with the Ethernet which is the cable and with VPN so I'm going to configure my Wi-Fi settings and be right back so Wi-Fi now is connected. Remember that you have Wi-Fi, you have Ethernet, which is the cable, and you have the VPN. Um, the display, just to let you know, uh, the little box is already 4K, okay? And here are the preferences. So I hope with the Wi-Fi, the date and time, um, it's now, yep. So you have a date and it has everything that you need now going to the the home menu um, let me just show you what comes with the little box so these are the apps that you can find it you have the web browser that you can go you have the cloud TV um, this one the crackle seriously I don't know what it is you have Facebook, you have a file browser because you can use a micro um, SD card um, and you can store uh, whatever you want, photos, uh, movies, music, whatever you want. You have Filmon, Gallery, Netflix, uh, Music, um, Kodi, the Play Store, Plex and even Sky and Skype and Twitter and Vivo. Um, just to let you know about Amazon, you don't have the app on the, on the Android, uh, so you need to go to the website itself, um, the, the Amazon website, of course. So let me just check here. So on my apps, just showing you um, the app installer, the browser, if you ever uh, want to go to while well, uh, browsing the internet on the uh, on your TV, sorry. Um, and basically, all the things that you need to watch TV and movies. Um, here on the Google Play, let's enter the Google Play Store. And RJ is enjoying it, so you need to enter. I need to create a Google Play account and just showing you a little bit about Kodi. Um, let's enter Kodi. So on Kodi, uh, and I need to um, say this, um, I am by no means um, saying that um, you should install anything illegal okay I'm just showing you what Cody is and I'm just showing you what little box uh, brings uh, and nothing of this is illegal so just showing you um, video what Cody can do is video pictures music programs and this is it so let me just enter here on Exodus just to see the menu that you can find and on this TV add-ons you have movies TV shows channels your own list and everything that you need um, so I will need to research as well and to move a little bit remember this is the first time that I'm um, actually using Lilbox 
um, and I need to um, check for it myself and research a little bit. And I'm going to the home menu again. And basically what I'm fi finding about Leobox is really easy to use. Um, the remote is really easy to use, nothing, um, nothing too much. Anyone can use it. Um, so returning to the home menu, um, so we have uh, Washington, you have um, temperatures and you have the weather itself. Um, but one thing that I'm going to show you, my TV is not 4K, okay? So here on the display, let me just see the screen resolution. So I can see here that it has um, 1080 um, pixels and I know that mine is 50 hertz. I'm going to change it. And I can't see properly here 4K, so I'm going to just assume, because I don't know, uh, that it doesn't appear here 4K uh, at all, because my TV is not 4K, okay? So, but if, you're, you, if, you have a, if you have a 4K TV, and if you think that normally this setting of the 4K appears, either you have a 4K TV or not, please leave, leave me a comment below so I can know as well. Um, so, so continue, we have screen resolution, position, rotation, I don't know what the daydream is, let me just check, so daydream, so it's supposed to be an alarm, a clock, so in activity, went to sleep, um, probably just an alarm to... <laughs> Just an alarm to say to, to for the TV or the little box to um, go to sleep. What is HDR? Auto on off. I re I need to read more about this. Seriously, display HDR. What the, what does it have? It's on auto, so it have it has on and off. But I need to read more about this. If you have any um, suggestion, please let me know on the comments below. Just push. And sounds, system sounds, digital sounds. Okay, nothing too fancy here. Okay, so auto detection, uh, HDMI, so PCM, I think that when we connect something to the HDMI, we need to sort it out. The auto detection is off, but I need to research about this as well. Apps. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, so downloaded system apps. Running apps. So basically, here is the apps that a normal Android mobile or tablet can have. Uh, remember that Lil Box is Android. Um, have his system app, so it's basically the same thing. Storage and reset. Uh, playback settings, accessibility, more settings. Let's just see <laughs> what we have in more settings. So basically, I think it's all of them. Printing. Yeah, the normal settings. Remotes and personal. So I think that I catch up a, li a little of what the settings are. Let's just return to the home. So, and what is this clean memory? Let's just enter here. So I just click the OK button and it's cleaning the memory. So it doesn't go anywhere. Um, <laughs> and Netflix, let's just enter on Netflix. And I need to adjust, as you can see, I need to adjust the, the screen. And yeah, basic, the basic Netflix going home again. And yeah. I reach it out but let me just check because 
What I've read about Little Box is that it can, um, if you have Apple uh, and Mac at home, you can um, Little Little Box will make as an air uh, an airport. So if you have Apple and Mac at home, uh, you can use Little Box as an airport. So all your files will be here as long as you install the app. Uh, here are the shortcuts for all the apps that you want that you use normally and I think this is pretty it uh, so I'm going to research as well if you have used this uh, this type of box um, leave me a comment below let me know what you think let me know um, if if I can do more things with the box because I'm still learning um, and I hope you enjoyed this video and learn a little bit of how um, to use this. It's pretty, um, it's pretty easy to use at home and I think it's a good thing to use. So, so thank you for watching and leave me a comment below what, what, what do you think and suggestions. And don't forget, to give, don't forget to give me a thumbs up on this video. Thank you and see you next time.